Alright then. Let me see. Let me turn some lights on. Oh, you, you know what? Never mind. I'll just turn the light on that I'm reviewing today. Ta da! Today I'm going to be viewing, uh, reviewing the Fly uh, Home. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to be reviewing the Fly Home. I got numbers on that because I got four of them. The Fly Home light bulb. It is the wireless USB light bulb. Like I just keep the USB plug. See, it is the a wireless light bulb. Um, it's something good to use during, um, you know, you know. SHTF, you can use it during there. But also as well, the reason why I want to review this is because we had a storm and I didn't even know the storm was coming. So right before the storm came, I said I was going to do start doing tech and product reviews. And um, I figured that I can go ahead and start with this one because this is one of my favorites. Um, this light bulb right here, all you have to do is charge it. Um, it takes about four to six hours to charge. And it is very, very bright. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to review uh, a couple of guidelines on here. The first guideline we're going to start with is we're going to start with um, the, uh, I guess we're going to start with the brightness. Um, my camera keeps all the focus in. Okay, so this brightness has three brightness settings. So you use this remote, okay? This remote control right here, I don't know if you can see that. Is, and the reason why I got to start right there because it helps me easier to see it at nighttime if I'm looking for the remote. I know I can see that light light up and I know that's my on button. Um, it has several settings on here. Okay, so let's see if we can get in close to see those. Okay, so the settings on here, um, let's bring that camera close and I'll bring it down on the table. I made this table myself, by the way. Um, I used, uh, made it using uh, some stuff. Uh, the tables my uh, girlfriend's mom gave me, my queen's mom. She gave me a table, so I just went ahead and just painted it orange and put some lights in here and stuff like that. It's awesome. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to be reviewing these lights. I'm going to get on these in a second because these orange ones are the more advanced ones right here. Um, like I said, I got like four of these lights right here. And basically, they all can run off the same remote. Reason okay, uh, here we go. Now, the reason why these ones ain't turning on now is because I got it in sleep mode. So in order to program sleep mode, what you want to do is, I deactivated sleep mode. So what you want to do is, at the top of this light bulb, there's a button right there. You press and hold that button for three seconds. One, two, three. And then once you hold for three, it puts it in sleep mode. So the remote cannot turn it on. In order to deactivate sleep mode, okay, you see family? You want to press that again, and it deactivates sleep mode, okay? These lights can either be controlled two ways. The first way is uh, a way that so obviously everybody, you press the button on here. So it has three brightness settings. So that one was bright. That brightness setting was said to be 180 lumens. The second brightest setting right now, which I got it on, is said to be 100 lumens. And then we got the uh, third brightness setting, which is said to be about 50 lumens, okay? These things get really, really bright. When you first use them though, they take a while to achieve that really, really super, super brightness. So sometimes they can even be over the stated lumens that they say they're going to be. Um, honestly, it looks like sometimes they can get about 400 lumens, um, to be honest. But like I said, these things are completely wireless. All you got to do is hook up this USB cord right here into a charger, which I have a five port um, 3.0 USB charger, anchor charger that I use to charge all six of my lights at the same time um well five at a time of course but I, I use it to charge all six um also as well that once they are fully charged it takes about four the six hours it says to charge from fully dead um and the charge to max um they can um run about six hours in the highest bright setting to 16 hours in the lowest bright setting so family if you want the lights to run longer it's good to get two sets of these i got one set and then i got another set my queen she got the other one in her room and this goes to that other set now see the thing is is that if you want the lights to run longer 
but you don't want to run the, the battery down, you can at least have four of these in a room at the same time. And you can have these like hanging and running uh, very, very smoothly. Um, these hooks right here, what I do is I got, I'm jumping all over the place. Let me finish this first part first. So say for instance, you want to have that brightness in there and you want to have it for as long as possible. You have it on the lowest setting. Well, if you have one in there, you're not going to see as much. But if you got four of them at the low setting, they can light up an entire room all day and all night. I have seen these go past their rated time slot. Also as well, I've noticed that when you have these at the super bright setting, after a couple of hours, they kind of dim. All you literally have to do is get the remote or you can do it manually, go through these settings again, which this right here is SOS, and then it's off. It has four settings. So it has three settings on brightness, 180 lumens, 100 lumens, 50 lumens, and then the last one is the SOS setting. But anyways, once it gets to where the brightest setting starts to dim a little bit, you just cycle through, bring it back on the brightest setting, and it's bright again. And with these lights, after about five minutes, they get really, really bright. It's like they're warming up, and then once they warm up, it gets really, really bright um, uh, as well. Let me go ahead and unplug this right here because we're, we're going to review these lights on a different video. But I want to review these guys first because I, I love these lights right here. So we recently had a power outage uh, during Storm Family. And what happened was, like, we didn't have any lights. Um, I do have two solar generators. I got three solar panels. Um, that's because of me, like, I, I just wanted to have that off-the-grid type energy that you need just in case. I wanted to do that. So I did some research, got some solar panels. We got some solar batteries. Matter of fact, these can be charged with solar panels. All you have to do is take the USB cord, right, that you got hooked up here, family, and then you can charge that directly into the USB port of a solar panel, and you can recharge these in about six hours of sunlight on a solar panel, okay? Because some, depending on the solar panel you got, I got the Rock Pals uh, sitting right over there in the corner. Let me grab that real quick so y'all can go ahead and take a good, good look at it. Um... Like I said, I got this right here, solar panel. The Rock Pile solar panel, you want to definitely, definitely get solar panels just in case you know SHTF or if you have just a sudden power outage, you know what I'm saying, like during a storm or something like that, this will help you out dramatically. You need something like this. But anyways, so what I'm doing is, is that I don't even need to use the lights in the house, man. That's how you save on electricity. You can get these bad boys right here, charge them up. And what people don't understand is you use less power charging than actually using the item itself. You feel me? So you definitely, like, free energy. Sunlight's out during the day. You can use this, open up your windows and use the sunlight to see inside your house. And then while you're seeing inside your house, you can use this solar panel, open this up, take these, plug these into the solar panel and have it charged. You feel me? You're going to be using way less light then. And then these lights can last for up to 16 hours, um, at least about six hours on the brightest setting. Um, about on the second setting, I think it was like 10 hours. And then on the third setting, about 16 hours. So, and then they're interchangeable. So say for instance, like if you want it to be brightness all the time and you know you got one light that can handle a room which one of these lights alone can light up my queen's uh, side of the room she got her own section and stuff like that and one of these alone can light up her entire section two makes it super bright you know what i'm saying but uh like i said if you want to just do it like that you want on bright say you want to run it all night you can just interchange these bulbs out and then in the morning go back and charge all four of them but you can, I got the Rock Power solar panel right here, family. And what you can do it is, and it's good to educate um, our people on this type of stuff because really, you know, our people don't know about this type of stuff. They into, you know, the video games, getting the shoes, spending $2,000 on rams. Rams can't keep power in your house. 
So now you're sitting up there, you know, you got no power, but you got $2,000 rims. That's beautiful. Anyways, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can plug it up here. It's got the USB ports. My hands are ashy. Just ignore that. I do it on purpose. I'm lying. Okay, so you can plug it up right here. This has several USB ports. Let me bring that boom right there that you can see right there. That orange one is the USB. Uh, I think that's the one that has the 18 watt charge uh, on that one. I think it's 18 or 25 or something like that. All I know is if I hook my cell phone up to this charger, it charges like from dead to full in like two hours if I hook it up to that orange one. But anyways, I will admit that a couple of these stopped working. I mean, it's a it's a beat up solar panel. I had it, not to use it for everything. Um, I use it to charge up my solar batteries and stuff like that. But I will say is, oh, did you wanna, you good? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Um, it's gonna get a little loud. She's gonna blend some stuff, but she's good. Um, but yeah, I, I would do that. And if you put both of those together, you basically have unlimited amount of lighting. You know what I'm saying? You're getting light, natural light source from the sun, but also at the same time, you're getting light source from these right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and light up the third one, family, and. Bam, so that's the third one. Now remember, these are fly whom. So let me go ahead and zoom in, let you see that right there. They're fly whom, I get them on Amazon. So for individual one, you're probably looking at about $15. And then for a set of two, you're probably looking at about $25. You get that, little, no, no, 13. So I think they're, yeah, 13, they're about 13 50 a piece. Um, for the uh, double pack, you're looking at $25, okay? Now, these are just the version one brands, I want to say. And like I said, you can get these on Amazon. I got these on Amazon. Uh, now, for some odd reason, there's always a shipping problem when it comes to these lights. It's not Amazon. I think Amazon sh it, it, it is from Prime, so you can ship from Prime. But I think what it is is that the biggest problem when it comes to shipping these in is that they probably use a third-party carrier. Um, in order for them to ship these in okay family uh, so I got three lit up right now and you can see it's super bright this is three of them on the highest bright setting so you can be like boom and if you want to these lights you can kind of like set up like this you see how most people take those pictures did it my camera's leaning bro I just noticed that let me see if I can straighten this out this mug is leaning but you see how, like, most people who, wait a minute, that's, there we go, is that it right there? That looked like that's it right there, okay, we good. So you know how most people got, like, they got the booming lights and, and stuff like that? So, basically, you can just, boom, you can do that same thing with these, family. So you know how they take the movie posters and pictures, how they got that look where it looks like there's lights on both sides or something. And they got that mid split shadow. Um, they do that in a lot of movies. You can do that same thing with these lights. They set these lights up like this. And it does the same thing. It has that same effect. Uh, also, if you want to put them behind the camera, you can. This is how they look like behind the camera. So that looks, that looks pretty good. That's awesome right there. I actually love that. Um, yeah, that looks nice. So, like I said, these these cam these I said camera these lights are very versatile. Okay, you you can do a lot with them. These hooks right here are so I went and bought a bunch of those hooks from Walmart, the open hooks, the brown ones, and I got them in the ceiling. So that way, it say for instance, if the lights cut off, I can put one of these lights in each room, and I can still have light in my house. You see what I'm saying? That that's what's up. So this past week we had a storm and basically we was the only people on the block with lights. Couldn't turn them up too bright because you know how people get. But yeah, we was the only one on the block with lights because we decided to go ahead and invest in stuff like this. And like I said, most of our people, is, you know, most black people, they don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why and I will be honest white people taught me a lot about this stuff they said hey they taught me a lot about you know protecting the home getting seeds and stuff like that I ain't learned that from other black people uh, around here um, I learned that uh, investing in yourself I learned that from a lot of uh, white people who live in the wilderness who boondock 
I learned a lot from them, but I also learned a lot from uh, black people from other states who do the same thing. But around here, they don't think like that. So that's why I'm trying to get this video out as much as possible so a lot of our people and a lot of other people, no matter who you are, no matter what race or background you have, you can always be prepared in some type of way. Now, I've done a lot of stuff to prepare. Me and my queen, we've been going ahead and trying to look into doing stuff like this to prepare, like getting seeds and stuff like that. And um, Now, I will say this, though. Um, before I start to review the version, I want to say the big boy lights of the same ones. What I like is that with this remote, you can control these lights. Bam. Bam. I love that. So say for instance, you got the lights already up and you're going in the other room. You don't feel like looking for a light switch. Remember, I got this on here. So when I light it up, that little star right there. So when I light it up, so you can see the star glowing. I can see where my remote is. Once I find my remote, I know that star is on the start button. I don't want to go through the dark trying to see if I can find the light switch. It's dark. You know saying you got that lit up? You see it's lit up? Okay. See it's zoom cool. I ain't let it sit on there long enough, but if I let it sit on there long enough, it lights up. So you let it light up, and then boom. Use the remote. You can turn the lights on. That's that's beautiful. That's that's a that's an awesome thing you want to do right there. Is just use that to turn the lights on. Also as well, you want to um, let's see here. Let's let's do this right here. Um, this now you have a timer on here. So these remotes they have timers. So you have 15 minute timer, 30 minute timer, one hour timer, four hour timer. <sighs> these timers are for when you want to have the lights turn off. So say for instance, you want to have the lights on for like 15 minutes. You hit that 15 bu minute button, and after 15 minutes, the light will cut off, and so on and so forth. This middle button right here where it says mode, I don't know if you can see that family, but where it says mode right there, what you want to do with that is that changes the light uh, uh, modes themselves. Like remember we was doing earlier with the 180, the 100, and the uh, 50, and then the SOS lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. I'm pressing that button. I'm gonna put my hands up here. We're going, boom. That's the 100. That's the 50. It, it's still good. It's still good. It's still well lit. That's the 50. It show up better at nighttime. Nighttime, it usually lights up the room pretty good. It kind of gives that off-white, that subtle, you know, subtle, say, for instance, you and your lady want to um, sit up there and chillax out and stuff like that, and you want it in a low-light setting, this will be good for that. This is that good low light setting. You know, it's not too bright, but it's enough to where you can see. This setting can last up to 16 hours. When I tested it, I think it was going on for like almost 21 hours when I tested it. So it's pretty good. And then you, you hit the mode one more time. Bam. And it back bright again. Now, to do the SOS mode, you have to press the button on here. Watch this. You have to press 1. That's the second setting. Two. Oh, that's weird, but SOS. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, that's the bright setting. That's one. That's two. That's three. And then we got the SOS setting, which you can, like, say, for instance, you you stuck somewhere, especially in the woods at night, and there's, like, and you got this with you camping, and this would be a good thing to have. You got this with you camping. This is super bright. And it does this SOS setting for 10 hours. 10 hours, family. It's also good if you got a solar battery pack, the little small ones, and you can charge it up with this. So every single night that you lost, especially at night, if somebody's flying over here trying to look for you, this is super, super bright. They should be able to see you. And it got this SOS setting on there. So that's good, family. That's something good to have in your pack uh, with you. Uh, and then you press it again and it turns it off. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Um, this one seemed like it's like behind the, then on, on the other ones. So that's basically that's basically what it is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spread these out so you can see the light distribute <laughs> on my face real easy. Oh, yeah, that's that, that's that Witcher right there. I love that. I got the Witcher 3. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got to have the Witcher 3 on there. You ain't living life unless you got Witcher 3. Okay, so I'm overdoing it. 
All right, so the second one I want to go ahead and review with you. So I got these, loved them. Went on Amazon, right, to look at the description because I've seen the description for some other ones. They showed the single double, and then they showed these bad boys right here. These the orange tips. <sighs> Dog, I love these. Let me tell you something about these. Okay, so these right here, they do the same thing, right? You got your different modes on here. But let me, they use a different controller. So this controller is for the regular ones. This controller right here is for the orange ones. So it looks a little bit different. Let me tell you why it looks a little bit different, family. Because you have a different setting on there for the yellow light. Now, they said the yellow light setting is good for if you um, are out camping in the woods and it's like insects, that yellow setting is supposed to kind of keep those insects away. That's what they did say, okay? Um, also family, like when you, it got the same timer settings on here, but the only difference is they got this extra button right here that's for the uh, repellent. It's called a repellent setting. And then you got the white setting right there. I got two little things right there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn, you, you see how it looks like now? So I'm gonna just use one of these and turn this on. So I'm gonna turn these other three off, right? We're gonna compare, right? Boom, that's off, right? Okay, look, boom. That's just this one light. It's almost as bright as these three lights put together. This one said it's rated at 280 lumens, but I think this is close to like 700 lumens. It's close to 700. Uh, I compared it to a, a light that's in my room right now that's 750 lumens. It's almost as bright as that. And after a little while, it looks like it's equally bright as that. So I will say this. Um, it does have way more lumens than enlisted on um, Amazon. Now, people may have different experiences with uh, different lights. But I know with the lights that I got, they are super, super bright. Now, so we got this setting. So you got the white setting. Now, okay, so when I press the white button again... That's gonna dim it. You feel me? It's still bright, family. It's still bright. That's that 50. They say that's that 50 lumens. It's still bright, so it's the same as the other ones, okay? Now, it listed differently on Amazon, but when I look at the lighting set themselves, they, they look pretty close. They look pretty similar. Let me go ahead and turn on these bad ones right here. Let me turn on the baby ones. So they look pretty similar as far as the lighting goes. This one has more LEDs in it. This one is said to have, I think, 32 LEDs, while this one has 20 something, like 25 or something like that, I think. 21 or 25, no, 22. I think this one said it has 22 or 23 uh, LEDs in it. This one has about 32, uh, somewhere around there. I have to look back, back, back up on the product page, so I apologize for that. Uh, so, let me go ahead and turn those bad boys off real quick. Like I said, this one light is, oh, wait a minute. I turn, hold on, turn that. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. My second one came on, that was my bad. Let me redo this test real quick. Let me see how it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna do this, bam. It's still, it's, stop turning on. Stop, turn off, turn off. It's still bright. Now, this is the only one that's on. Let, let me show you the camera. Let me see. It's the only one that's on out of all my lights right now. This is the only one that's on. So, you, you're looking at the table and you're seeing how that's the only light that's on. We're going to review them yellow and black ones. I call them my bumblebees. Dog, there's no light that can hold a candle for the price range of these two right here. Sorry, I'm spitting. But these two right here, I gotta go back online just to look up the product name because I don't even think it's on there because there's so many products that equal that. I gotta look back up in my phone, you know what I'm saying? But at least Fly Whom, you know it's from them, they got their name on there. I love that. Okay, so now here's the other setting I wanna preach to you about. I wanna talk to you about this family. Um, the other setting. Now, it said it is supposed to have a memory. So whatever light setting you put it at, once you turn off the light, 
You wait a while and then you turn it back on. It's supposed to memorize that setting. Let's put it on bright, turn it off, and then turn it back on. It's supposed to memorize whatever brightness setting that you put it at. Okay? That's why I said I love these. Uh, my video again kind of long. I wanted to cut it some because it's going to take a while to upload if I keep doing it like this. Okay. So, I will. That's another light I got to review. It must be 8 30 because I got that light program to come on at 8 30. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just give y'all a sneak preview at that light. Boom. Okay, there we go. But we won't, we're going to review that soon. I got that from Amazon too as well. I got plenty of stuff on Amazon. I might not like Jeff Bezos, but hey, if I need to buy stuff to protect my family and look out for them and stuff like that and help out the community by going and putting you on this, take advantage of that if you want to. Don't be with that whole, oh, he's a beer now. Not, hey, get what you can from him until you can sustain on your own. Like, come on. Like, come on, people. Uh, so, anyways. I'm going to use a repellent setting. This is, boom. That's the repellent setting. Turn the whole room yellow, family. Both the lights are on right now. It's, when I'm using a remote, it's going to automatically work for all of them. This one remote. Now, I got each, each light, each of these lights I got, I got six lights total. Two of these and then four of the other ones. Each of these lights have their own remote, but this remote can work for both of these and then this other remote right here can work for all four of my other lights at the same time. So if I got the same lights in the same room at the same time, I'm turning on all my lights on at once. It's like, you know, turn off and just boom, I'm coming in there. You know what I'm saying? This one also has a low setting for the yellow. It's kind of like a mood one, you know. I like it to where, if you know, at night, if you're like reading or something like that, that may be something good to... You know, have it on a low yellow setting, but mostly for camping, especially if you have the, uh, uh, how can I say, especially if you have the um, tent that have the light hang hooks, and that's what this is actually for on these, on these lights. It's where you can hook it up at the top. I like this hook because it's an open hook, so you can hook it on a loop. Well, these, you can't do that, but they do come with another piece that hooks on the here that allows you to hook it on the open hooks and stuff like that. But I like the already open hook. It makes it a lot easier because it can hook on all types of hooks on that one. You know what I'm saying? And you can chain them up if, like this if you got to. You know, that, I kind of like that. Uh, let me put it back on the white setting. And that's what I like is that you can boom, hit it like that. You don't have to go through the whole entire sequence in order to light these up. You can just hit your buttons and, and it can switch in between. See how I got one white and one yellow? That's because the other one didn't pick up the signal. Let me go ahead and do this right here. Bam, and then bam, it just resets them like that. So these things are pretty bright. Like I said, it's just these two. You see how bright that is compared to when I did it last time? They're pretty bright, man. So we got it like this, and like I said, it's like that Marvel Avenger type thing, or like them movie posters and superhero movie posters that you be doing, and you got it on the side right here. That 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 looks good. You know what I'm saying? Got the profile, got the ball, shiny head. That's coming up, looking like Wayne head and shit. So, like I said, man, get these lights. These one right here, the upgraded ones, they cost about a dollar more than the other ones. Well worth it. They are well worth, oh my gosh, they light up the, they light up a room. With these right here, you basically only need one per room. So when my power went out, I had one light in the hallway, one light in the kitchen, one light in the bedroom, and then one light in the living room. And I was just only using these. I wasn't even using the big boys yet. I was just using these. So, like I said, um, they're called Fly Home, go on Amazon. Go ahead and cop those. You definitely, definitely, definitely want to get these, okay? You definitely want to get these. Um, they're very good. They recharge the same way by USB. And uh, you can charge these by solar panel if you need to. Um, they're especially good for people who don't have power, but they have a solar panel maybe. Or uh, they don't have power, but they want to charge it from their car. They don't take that much energy to charge. Um, so you can hook up USB charger in the daytime and then at nighttime you can go ahead and just hook these up inside your house so you can actually see what you're doing and where you're going and stuff like that. So it does help a lot for those. All right then family. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Um, like I said, I'm doing back to back product reviews from Amazon. So the next ones I'm going to go ahead and review will be this right here. This beast 
of a light right here. Ask my homeboy. I sat up there and had both of these lit up inside his apartment. His eyes got big. He was like, damn. He's like, it lit up my whole entire place. I test these out. They lit up an entire city block. Dude, I'm telling you. Yo, we're going to review these next. All right? Stay tuned. All right? It... Well, it depends on whenever this video is uploaded, but I know for a fact we're going to review these, okay? I am so glad I was done by the time you said that, but I think I recorded that. You need to stop cussing. There's kids watching. 